What's up, Sagittarius? With your November love general reading. This is from my lovely Sagittarius's sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and may not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. So guys, this is a general, as always in a general, roles can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective or be a bonus video for you. So just apply it where it fits. If it's not for you, it's definitely not for you. But tell me about the love energy surrounding Sagittarius for the month of November. Okay, we have Wheel of Fortune reverse. Seven of Blades reverse. Page of Wands. The Emperor reverse. Nine of Coins. Six of Cups. So a validation that you are in either no contact, no communication, or perhaps there was some discord around the last time you spoke, or maybe even still, whether it's in person or apart. Although I'm sort of leaning on the past energy here, we also have the Six of Cups, which is also in reverse, the Sun and Scorpio energy. So there is, there is this energy of moving in the past energy. You could literally see it. I mean, that's what's going on here today. This is the person here, Six of Cups in reverse, who's literally in this past energy, is also here in the Seven of Cups in reverse, where their energy is quite strong, getting some clarity around, I want to say, their commitment issues, whatever happened here. So we could be looking at, yeah, conversation for some of you in person, maybe even at an event that didn't really go well. There may have been some some discord but this could also be around being on the phone or messages you know it's mercury energy it's mercury and cancer energy so it's quite emotional communication which can go either way we could be looking at really you know celebratory energy here and the upright this is coming in reverse mercury is connected to reading and writing so it's for a lot of you this is around messages you know text messages or perhaps social media email but it's also mercury and it's around communication and we are seeing the queen of cups here just even the way it came out today the healing energy so somebody yeah look here with the page of swords somebody here i think may have an apology to make in fact i'm pretty sure that they do for yeah this past energy and for some of you, it can be. It's a really strong validation that you've known them for many, many years. Like we could be talking childhood. But that's also a soul connection kind of energy. Okay. Yeah. So first of all, the page of swords here right below our queen of cups. This person is watching, checking in. If you are connected via social media, they're definitely in those messages on the pages perhaps it's through other people and even i would say if you're not anymore or you were or if it's something else just messages on the phone and stuff there there there's a strong energy here of them going back into how they behaved how things happened how you got in to perhaps no contact or just with somebody that you're not communicating well with again for some of you this is everything no contact no communication and or in separation the nine of pentacles is in reverse so that's a pretty telling energy virgo and mercury energy of somebody who also does owe an apology but hasn't brought it to round this again some conversations here around commitments it could be a lot of things that's the thing we could be looking at other relationships to people, but commitments, you know, can be somebody who hasn't been able to balance out their their work life and, and money, or they have commitments, yeah, to jobs, commitments to maybe even con contractual to places that they live, that sort of thing. This person is definitely coming out of that energy, and they're literally, they are wanting to communicate right here next to our page of swords who is also holding on to this truth look at that and it's right next to a poppy which is my indication for making peace energy apologetic energy so they're holding on to some truths they're holding on to communication how long has this been going on for some of you a really long time like watching and holding on to it we also see here 
and connected to what went on here with this person from the past six of cups in reverse the king of swords somebody who we see has been holding on to this for a while but has also been and i feel like is making some plans to communicate and look at there's some energy here that's yours we're going to get it in just a moment look at the amount of puppies here i mean this is just even in the deck that I felt drawn to bring you today, somebody who has been thinking for a long time, what they, I feel like, need to say, Gemini and Mercury energy. So again, planet of the mind, the planet of communication. Something didn't get resolved communication-wise. This is also a strong validation with our Three of Cups in reverse of some type of communication, whether it was in person, online, messages, phone calls, whatever, that just didn't go well. Around this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which by the way, look, at is this a donkey here today? We're not going to say <laughs> what I want to say. Could be somebody was behaving like that. There's another word for donkey. I'll just leave it at that, okay? But our Knight of Pentacles generally is, you know, you're able to count on them. There's a lot of humility, you know, connected to yeah, just somebody you can count on. There's the apologetic and energy here. Somebody who wants to do the work. It's in reverse and it's connected to the three of cups. So yeah, it's kind of like, I don't know, for some of you, maybe they walked away. Literally, it's not going to be for everyone. The phone call ended or messages stopped, but it just wasn't resolved. And it's definitely connected to this person who I don't think it was reciprocal in some ways. And that's because we can see it here in the Seven of Cups, that this is somebody who has commitment issues, had commitment issues. It's in reverse. There's clarity there now. Are they just getting clear and realizing they need to make some apologies? Perhaps. Well, that's not yours. Nine of Swords. The bottom of the deck. Wow. So... Gemini and Mars energy, not sleeping, there's some anxious energy. I kind of feel like it's in alignment with maybe even, I, I guess you could say, kind of how things went down. I mean, yeah, look, it's connecting here with the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, of course, which is now in reverse. So some commitment issues here, along with the Knight of Pentacles, not really showing up being able to count on this person and with the three of cups perhaps around some communication that didn't go well and just even the lack of communication yeah so some sleep with some of your energy around that and i definitely am feeling it around this person nine of swords king of swords page of swords awake in the night here and definitely thinking about you and everything that went down wanting to communicate and make some peace is this all that they're wanting to do is there more the seven of swords yeah they need to make some peace seven of swords energy aquarius uranus energy a, a runner you could say not being clear not being honest and not sword energy you know swords are transactional it's clarity and relationships it's communication, truths. Obviously, it's the lack of that. And it's around commitment issues. I mean, it's just really, really clear. There could even be for some of you that there was some betrayal here. And we're even looking at it with the Three of Cups in reverse and the Six of Cups. It's kind of like if you confront somebody or you want to talk about where things were going or something that happened. Again, maybe some dishonesty. And then there's some discord that kind of ensues and somebody either walks away or doesn't respond. It's, kind of, it's that energy. But this is somebody, this page of swords, who's holding on to this apology. Look, and it's connecting just to hear all these poppies today. Again, it's just so strong. And owls, by the way, king of swords, this is Gemini Mercury energy. But owls in particular are, I was going to say owls, <laughs> owls, owl, <laughs> owls are Scorpios and they can hold back some emotions and they do work behind the scenes and nocturnal energy guardian of the night literally 
wisdom information that this person look getting it for sure looking page of swords holding on to the truth holding on to this apology kind of spying talking to their people perhaps then you see our king of swords who's surrounded who by the poppies who knows that they need to apologize who is maybe being strategic about it but definitely you're wanting to communicate definitely looking and again i want to say making some kind of plans and the nocturnal energy is incredibly strong here with our nine of swords like being awake in the night not sleeping very well waking up thinking about it watching looking at their phone perhaps again social media strategizing i feel like with our king of swords because it's also right here with the queen of cups which is a really healing energy it's emotional honesty and somebody showing up and opening up in a healing energy so there really there are some realizations here around this apology and they're, they're, they're still holding on to it. That's the thing. There's some strategizing, I feel. Some plans that they're making. The, oh, wow. Look, so the Empress in reverse, the Page of Pentacles, the Tower. It's in reverse. Very interesting indeed. So getting out of their ego, first of all. This is just really, really clear. But... There's something around, there is some fear here <laughs> that's really telling. What is it around? We know it's around this apology, it's around the emotions, it's around the truth. So, was this just not being honest about feelings and clear about feelings? That definitely is here. But I think it's around something else, around this commitment, around these commitment issues. Because we're also seeing here with the Tower card, it's... For me, this is about being honest and getting to the root of the issues. Was there a tower moment? For some of you, there was. You know, maybe even together, but it could also be just this, the person who's coming through here today. But look what it's connected with. So both our Page of Swords and our Queen of Cups. So the, the being awake and watching and our King of Swords, who is wanting to communicate. But also with our Page of Pentacles here, look what it is today. It's an octopus who live at the, the deepest part of the ocean. Deep at deep emotions here. So it's the pentacle energy, commitments, relationships, partnerships, excuse me. And it's a page, you know, it's like a student trying to figure it out. They're holding on to the pentacle, but it's an octopus actually coming out of the water here. So around the water energy, the emotions really deep, actually. So that is the other thing too. It's like feelings that they have or they have that they were hiding perhaps are repressing here in the past energy because that's also really clear around the Empress for me in reverse today. Divine Feminine Energy, Taurus Energy also bringing in Libra. Of course, they share Venus, the planet of love. Speaking of which, the Empress is connected to the Sacral Chakra, I feel as well as the heart chakra I love. Not opening up, I don't know, pulling away for sure. Look at this, it's so strong. Divine number, divine timing. Somebody was ready, somebody wasn't. Somebody was available, somebody wasn't. It's really clear here. So whether this is just commitment issues around all the feelings, somebody just stopped participating, or there were other Commitments here in the Seven of Cups, the clarity that they have of their behavior is really clear. And there is some strategizing here going on. Literally, Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, King of Swords, Nine of Swords, Queen of Cups around this person. I want to bring in some water. Wanting to apologize. Get some kind of news, you could say, a message really strongly connected look here our page of pentacles also with our king of swords and again that mercury energy which is really strongly connected to reading and writing so a pretty strong validation if this is just around social media emails 
SMS, text message, that sort of thing. But again, if it's possible to see this person, we could even be looking at a conversation that might even get conflicting poss possibly. Because this, this feels to me like it's somebody who this past energy was afraid to make. Yeah, there's some decisions around this commitment energy that they weren't being honest about. There was some fear around some changes that this person was afraid to make. And so instead of just being honest or having the, the conversation and maybe, you know, yeah, instead of being honest, what can I say? There are some lies around it or yeah, some ghosting, some pulling away. It's like wasn't handled correctly. Look what's coming off here. Wow. Okay. These are yours and this is yours. Oh, I think that might be it. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's more of the Empress energy. Queen of Pentacles is like my look. Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles is here. Queen of Pentacles is like my my Empress. You know, my the protege. Kiki for the Empress. Mini Empress, you could say. Protege. Very healing energy. Making things work that were not working. It's the Queen of Pentacles. You know, the Pentacle around relationship contracts. I want to say something here, too. That... It can also be just, and there's a lot of things here supporting this energy, so I'm just going to tell you the feelings that I have, that for some of you, there is a, a strong connection to somebody with some vices. I don't think it's for everybody, but it's really uh, pretty prominent for those of you that, that this message, I guess you could say, is resonating with, that perhaps that was something that was around this person, too. Mice, it's like double energy, you know, cups, money, whatever. But there's definitely an emotional, there's fear of the emotions here for sure. The Hermit is in reverse, Virgo and Mercury energy. So it's a validation of, and look with the Six of Cups in reverse, that for some of you, it's been a really long time. Like it's been, you, you know, you haven't been talking. And... This person is coming in there's definitely a valid fear here of not wanting to make the same mistakes because I think they might be coming in here with a little bit more than just an apology three of pentacles Mars and Capricorn energies the coming together energy you know there's the apology so it's here it's kind of like I don't know it's like really far back for me for some of you so it could be that's just kind of like a door opening, like coming in with the apology, but there's more going on. And just even today here, look, with our wolf and even our polar bear here in the nine of swords, you know, the polar bear, the, the coldness and, and the intensity of a polar bear that there, and you can just see it here that there was some really hurtful things that were said and that were also not said and, and withheld too. You can even see it here. I feel like somebody's like, yeah, wait a minute. Maybe even some people around you are saying, wait a minute. The five of Wands, like they have to get through you, perhaps other people. Southern and Leo energy. So it's like some obstacles, some challenges. And that's also telling me that there, that's been challenging and there might still be some. But look what else is here. The apology is really clear here, okay, that it needs to be had. And I feel like it's kind of how they're coming in. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. So a really strong validation of that Seven of Cups, because it's in reverse now. There's clarity around it that this person has been in, because it's also here in the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn and Saturn commitment issues weighing off some options you know choices to be made here so was this person just not were they choosing 
something or someone, perhaps again, it could be for some of you a vice at the time. And that just is a really big reason why things fell apart. And are they ready to make, I guess you could say better decision. The question is, where are you at with it? Because one of these pentacles is yours and the two pentacles, the decision to be made. So it's the pentacles, but we have dolphins, the spiritual connection to people, a decision here. They're in the water. Again, so it's the pentacle energy, but also here in the water, the emotional energy. Also around timing, the divine energy. You can even see here in the two of pentacles, look that there's other ones down here. You see challenges and obstacles here in our five of wands. So we could be looking at rivalry in the sense that there's other relationships romantically. But it could be other people to work, location, that sort of thing. But this is somebody who, look, Page of Pentacles, yeah, has a lot of feelings. That It's like resurfacing. This is definitely a resurfacing from the past kind of energy. Page of Pentacles. So our Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Next level, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Getting this, yeah, but this is what's on their mind here. We see it here. They're kind of resurfacing literally <laughs> from the deep here, the octopus and holding on to it like they found it. It's like all these feelings, you know, bringing this pentacle up that's been under hidden emotions like King of Cups energy, Emperor energy. Like having hidden a lot. So I don't know if this is just a total surprise. Somebody you would just never expect. Or you already know they're already there. You might even for some of you be seeing this person. This is in their mind though. And what is that other pentacle? That's the thing. Because it plays a part here in whatever was going on past. Because there is the water. There is the decision. But we see here that the page... The octopus with all these emotions has it. And where do you go when you get out of the page energy? You go into the Knight of Pentacles, which was something they weren't doing that they weren't ready for. Yeah, so there's a decision here. I feel like that is needing to be made or maybe already was made. There's definitely an apology and I feel like communication coming up. I mean, yeah, King of Swords. I mean, it's pretty clear, actually. That could also get kind of intense. But the Ten of Pentacles is also here. Look, it's little bees today. Busy bees working on it kind of energy. Mercury and Virgo, a Ten of Pentacles, really long-term energy. Like the everything kind of energy, you know? A new cycle. So getting out of the cycle the two of you have been in, for, I don't know, for some of you, maybe for a really long time and making some decisions here. But this is somebody who has, who has or is making some decisions, but at least on their mind, who has, who does have an apology they've been holding on to for way too long, but also has this ten of pentacles on their mind, actually. But the ace of pentacles is what's wanting to go there. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention that this apology for some of you might be connected, Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Wands, to other, yeah, other relationships. Long term, could be family of origin, romantic. It's not for everybody, it's real specific here. But how they feel about you is just really clear what's in their mind and also this apology that they've been holding on for way too long. There's some kind of fear of change. But getting over their ego is also really clear just to even make this apology. And you know, in the Three of Pentacles, you have to show up. Everybody has to show up and it's like teamwork energy. And had that just wasn't the case with this person, and it's playing a really big part in, I guess, how you got here. Channel above messages, messages from their higher self. I 
I'm starting to understand our connection. I love you more than I have found a way to say to you. In our page of Pentacles, King of Swords, Queen of Cups opening up. I am rising up. That's connecting us with the hangman energy, Pisces energy. When you get out of there, you go into the death card and you, well, you get out of your ego to apologize and you start making some changes because there's a fear around that. But also for me today, this just feels like it's really going into the past energy. So we could be looking at years for some of you and obviously you're going to know, do you think of me too? Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles, the Six of Cups even in reverse here. Some of you have known this person for many years, but it's that, yeah, there's the living in the past energy. So it can be for some of you that they're coming in here in this past energy and it's just not for you anymore. That's real specific. It's not going to be for everybody, but it is here. It was me, not you. I'm sorry I didn't reply. You are my person. Somehow it feels like too little too late. I'm totally broken. Thinking of you, I will always love you. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely somebody from the past who's understanding a lot of what they did and feeling is here now resurfacing maybe just making this apology hoping for more is what it feels like to me that that might be if you're taking that apology that for some of you yeah that's maybe all you're what you're you know willing to accept is maybe not what i want to say but i do feel a strong energy of moving on i wake up with you on my mind i go to sleep with you on my mind that's the nine of swords under there Every road leads back to you. It's one of those long time connections, I feel like. We are a hated connection. We were meant to meet. But with fate. No, I am not over you. Okay. I'm starting to understand our connection. I love you more than I've ever found a way to say, yeah, so I'm wise enough. Somebody who is getting hunt literally that information as we talked about the owl here, even in the King of Swords. Well, <laughs> that camera makes me crazy. I'm not sure where it ended, but just in case, no, I'm not over you. We are a faded connection. Pretty sure that's where it ended. I'm not positive. Thinking of you. Are you thinking of me came in? And the I am wising up energy... Yeah, I mean, that's that hangman energy. Somebody who's been an ego, who's been really indecisive around, they were really indecisive in the past around maybe it was a move between a job, maybe it was giving up advice, maybe it was a relationship. But, you know, it's really specific to you, but it definitely got things where they are. So they're kind of in their, their feels now and coming in here, Knowing that, understanding it now, but I feel like maybe for some of you it's too little too late, but I can't tell you that. Only you can tell you that, you know, that's just the energy that's coming through, but it's a strong energy. So it's not for everybody, but it's an overpowering. So it's definitely an energy that needed to come through for somebody. Every road leads back to you right here with that six of cups energy. Even our three of cups and ten of pentacles energy, there's a strong connection for a lot of you to family even with the empress here you know but some things that did not go your way i guess you could say the way that everyone maybe hoped it would go this person plays a really big part in it there's a lot of acknowledgement they know they need to apologize for a really long time so we could just be taking a peek into what's going on in somebody's mind they want you to know I will always love you. You are my person. It was me, not you. I'm sorry. I think I'm thinking of you. Do you think of me too? Are you thinking of me? 
I'm not over or I'm understanding the connection. I really beep oh, miss you. You have to look at the camera. <laughs> you can probably imagine what that's saying. Although there's dots there too. It's so hard not being in contact. And I'm so sorry. Okay, this is the reading today. It was just very, I feel like there's not a whole lot of resolution somehow, but this is what's coming in. This is what's on somebody's mind. And maybe this is your reading and you just needed to hear that. And perhaps this person has reached out already and a very strong indication that they will if they haven't. And there's more than an apology on their mind. They're, they're wanting to work this out. It's somebody who is, who you may have had this even long-term contract with, you know, who's still seeing, who's seen themselves with you, who's, yeah, understanding things, coming and hoping, I guess you could say this apology opens things up for you. Only time will tell energy. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you being here, watching really keeps the channel moving. If you want to check out any of the zodiac signs, you can find them in the description. If you are on a twin flame journey and you are looking for twin flame readings, they're also linked below. And of course, you'll find today's readings, all signs tarot, love tarot, messages from your person readings, which are just, you know, for everybody, collective love readings. You'll know if they're for you or not. You can find those too. Okay. Take care. Thank you again. I'm sending you love. And I look forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Bye.